Tales and Tales of the Bible short story series, book one, The Prophet and the Hole. Even though the man of God, Hosea, did not agree with his assignment, he got up and headed down to the red light district where all of the holes hang out and he went to the busiest corner where the holes pick up their marks. The closer that Hosea got to the district, the more nervous he became. Old boy was sweating bullets and thinking, this is not how I wanted to find a wife. I wanted a bay, someone who's going to love me and love God. This, this hoe won't even know who God is. Hosea was now in the red light district. He was approached by all of the women on the corner because he was a handsome man and was a regular gym rat and it showed. One of the women was heard to say, oh, Lord, <laughs> the man of God is here. Did you come to preach a revival to us? <laughs> you got a word from the Lord for us? Another one said, yeah, I know you didn't come down here for what I think you did. Word from the Lord, my behind, he's still a man. The main one named Gomer, the daughter of Diblame, said, y'all move out of the way. This is truly a man of God. Show some respect. Haven't y'all seen how those other supposed men of God move? He don't move like that at all. Goma continued speaking to Hosea, what can I do for you? What brings you down here to these parts? You do know what happens here, right? Hosea said, yes, I'm aware of how y'all pick up men, have sex and get paid. I'm here for you. Goma said, for me? What could you possibly want with me? With all due respect, I know the offerings from your little revivers are good and all, but believe me, you can't afford me. Believe me when I tell you I am the best there is around here. Hosea said, look, God told me to come down here and find the best looking hoe, I, I mean lady, and marry her. That happens to be you. Gomer said, you're right. God told you. <laughs> the other ladies laughed and said, here we go. We've seen this before. God told him to come down here and find the best looking hoe and marry her. Oh my God. <laughs> the lies they tell just to be with us. Another one said, well, at least we know this man of God ain't married like the other ones that pull up on us. Then they all said, right, right. You, you show sure right about that now. Hosea said, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't like that. I'm for real. I got the ring right here. 2.5 carats. Baby, I ain't playing. God ain't playing with me and I got to do what he said do. So Gomer. Then Hosea got down on one knee and said, so Gomer, will you please marry me and become my wife and the mother of my children boy they were laughing now <laughs> one was rolling all over the ground laughing and saying gomer hey gomer child you got something right there what you gonna do huh what you gonna do <laughs> the others joined in and made it a song gomer will you marry me will you marry me will you marry me what you gonna what you gonna what you gonna do uh-huh, uh-huh, what you, what you, what you gonna do? The street traffic and the people walking seemed to stop as Hosea was down there on one knee waiting for Gomer to answer him. Hosea started to feel a little faint as the anointing of God came over him and saturated that corner. Just as he started to get up and leave thinking that he had found the wrong lady, Gomer said, what the heck? Why not? You are a handsome, well-built man, and I know that the man of God got some dollars. So, yeah, why not? The other said, girl, no, don't be fooled. He probably going to take you somewhere and tie you up and try to preach that sex demon out of you. We have all had that to happen to us. Gomer said, no, no, this is different. I feel something kind and sweet about him. I'm all in. Jose was screaming, clapping his hands, and dancing the sanctified holiness done got my breakthrough dance. Jose said, yes. <laughs> she said, yes. Thank you, God, for sending me to the right one, the best one, the prettiest one. Jose and Gomer left the area and went straight to one of Hosea's pastor's friend's house to get married. When they showed up on the pastor's doorstep and rang the bell, Jose began to feel ashamed and thought, what is he going to say to me? I'll be ruined, Lord. I'll be ruined. The pastor opened the door and said, Hey, man, what's up? What you doing here so late? And who is that with you? Hosea said, Hey, man, I need a big favor. Pastor said, Yeah. Hosea said, I need you to marry us. Pastor said, At this late hour? 
And is there something wrong that you can't wait and plan a proper wedding? I know she ain't pregnant, not the way that you was preaching and calling people out about sex before and outside of marriage. I just know that ain't the case, is it? Jose said, look, man, may we come in? Pastor said, yeah, y'all come on in out of the dark and night air and out of the range of listening ears. You know, people love ear hustling, especially if the conversation is coming from my house. Uh.